River Nile, locally known as Shira, is the longest river in the world, with more than 6,000 kilometers in length. It flows through nine countries before reaching the Mediterranean Sea. is considered the symbol of life for all the countries it flows. Over the years, the source of the Great Nile has become a point of interest for many researchers. However, the exact point at which the river starts is still disputed among many. One such a place claiming to be the source of the Great Nile is Jinja in Uganda. Located roughly 80 kilometers from Kampala, the capital of Uganda, Jinja is best known for its location on Lake Victoria, a place believed to be the source of the Nile. You welcome at the source of the River Nile. So we're on the world's longest river, uh, which is River Nile. And uh, now river, uh, its local name is called Omuga Chira, and uh, Omuga means a river, and then Chira means waterfalls. So now river, it is the only river in Africa which is flowing northwards, uh, just because the north is on a lower altitude. So the Nile divides two kingdoms, uh, we're having Busoga in the eastern, and we have also uh, Buganda at the central. So the river divides the two kingdoms. Uh, and uh, still it is divided into two parts. You have White Nile and Blue Nile. So far we're on the White Nile. And the Blue Nile is from Ethiopia. Uh, that's from uh, Lake Tana and uh, both Niles, they do join at Khartoum. And that is the North Sudan. And its mouth, it is in Mediterranean Sea. It is starting from Uganda, and that is on the end of Lake Victoria, because it's an outlet of the Lake Victoria. You know, the lake has got many tributaries, but there's only one way out, which is the Nile River. And uh, Lake Victoria, it has many inlets, and among them we have River Kajira, we have uh, Masai Mara, we have uh, Mau. So there are many rivers, they all feed the lake, but the lake only flows out in the Nile, and uh, that is the source of the Nile where it is. Even though the exact location of the source of the Nile is disputed, to date, a monument has been erected in Jinja City commemorating the findings of the famous explorer John Speak about the source of the Great Nile. John Speak, uh, I came to Uganda and I was in uh, 1858 and uh, he named the Lake Victoria uh, before it was called Nalu Valley. Yeah, but anyway, anyway, when he came, he named it Victoria after the Queen of England and I was in uh, 18. 58, and also came to see the source of River Nile, uh, which was in uh, 1862. Uh, but then before, there were some, white, uh, some black people who were living around by that time. And uh, those are the people who helped him to show him where the source of the Nile is, where they were expecting it to be. Yeah. And uh, by that time, uh, the Nile, before, the Nile was called Kira. And by that time, there wasn't more dams on the Nile. And the Nile was very, very narrow. Uh, but now because of the many dams, it has been widened and uh, a lot of falls have been submerged. And uh, it was discovered uh, by John Speck. And that was the first white man to see it in 1862. And uh, that was like his third expeditions in Africa because they made a lot of expeditions in Africa. And uh, finally, they confirmed the source of the Nile to be in Uganda as an outlet from Lake Victoria. Uh, the more people come to visit the source of the River Nile, uh, the country earns foreign exchange. And uh, also, uh, the, the, the people at the site still they get some more, more income, because like me, a tour guide. So if the source of the Nile is here in Uganda, 
and uh, we probably get a lot of people from different parts of the world. It makes us to associate with uh, different people from different parts of the country, and also it is uh, there is also fishing at the Nile, and of which we also export fish, most like tilapia, now patch, and uh, also the patch. It has got its part which is a uh, a bladder, so that's what makes the fish to be more more expensive, like the patch, because its bladder it is used making stitches, surgical stitches. So like a kg can be over 200 US dollars. So it is very beneficial to denial in the way it's a source of income also to the people living around. Those people also get some water for irrigation. And uh, that is mostly now, uh, we, we call it in the uh, farms. So it is very important to Uganda and Uganda at large. For this reason, Ginger attracts many tourists from far and wide as it offers a range of spectacular sites including Lake Victoria, Seziwa Falls, and Mabira Forest. Actually, we do have a lot of activities on the Nile. Yeah, first and foremost, we have uh, the boat rides. Uh, the source of River Nile, because if you just come on the banks of the river, you won't access the source of the River Nile. So mostly it is access to the, or the boats. And then we have also other activities like the, the bungee jumping. Uh, then we have uh, rafting. Uh, then we have um, water slide. There are a lot of water sports down on the Nile. A boat ride into the famous Lake Victoria locally known as Nalubali, is another adventurous trip not to miss out being a host to different animal and bird species. With Itanda Falls along its trail and the Owen Falls Dam, which generates electricity for Uganda and its neighboring countries, indeed, a ride along the Nile is another exciting activity not to miss out while in Ginger Town. Interestingly, the name of this river is also mentioned in Hadith as one of the rivers of paradise.